how much do homes sell for in Burlington, Ontario? As regardless of what type of market we're in, what the interest rates are doing, and what property type you're looking for, you're still gonna run into some agents that list properties super low, making it hard for buyers like you to truly understand what things are selling for in Burlington. Just take a look at these examples here. First is this detached home in the Tansley Woods neighborhood was ended up listed for 1.2 million and ended up selling for over 1.5. Then next is this brand new town home in South Burlington was listed for $777,000 and ended up selling for 1.1 million. And then finally, we have this condo in Corporate's neighborhood in North Burlington that was listed for $560,000 and ended up selling for $665,000. And these here are just the tip of the iceberg. And the reason why I wanted to create this video here to shed some light on actually what homes in Burlington are selling for. So if you're new here, my name is Matthew. I'm a local realtor and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Burlington and the surrounding cities. And recently I've had a bunch of people reach out looking to move here. So if that's you as well, feel free to send me a message. And if you're interested in getting updated pricings based on your own search criteria, make sure you stick around to the end to learn out how. Now, before we dive in and give exact examples on each price ranges, I thought we'd first look at the general real estate statistics in Burlington. And as we can see with this graph here, the majority of homes in Burlington have sold above that $1 million price point. And if we break this down further into the different property types, we can see one of the reasons for this is that the majority of detached homes, which makes up 49% of the total real estate sold in Burlington, were all selling above the $1 million price point with a few just selling slightly under. Now the median sold price for January 2023 was $1,170,000. And then if we take a look at freehold townhomes, which made up 14% of the real estate sold in Burlington, we can see a lot of these ones here were selling above $800,000 and into the low 1 millions with the median sold price in January 2023 being $867,000. And then as for condo townhomes, which made up 16% of the real estate sold, we can see that the majority of these ones here were really selling between that $600,000 price point up to a million with the median sold price being 715,000. And then if you're looking for a condo in Burlington, we can see that the majority of condos in Burlington were really selling between 500 and 800,000 with a few penthouse options being above the $1 million price point. Now the median sold price in January, 2023 for these was $552,000. So now let's take a look into the each different price category, give you a few examples on what sold within them to give you a better idea. So you can jump around to the different timestamps below. Otherwise, let's kick it off with the above $2 million homes. Now the majority of these homes in this range here will really be selling between two to three million and they'll be either selling on the far southern part of Burlington or the far northern part of Burlington. Now a few examples that have sold recently in this price range here is this detached home in Roseland that is one of one and ended up selling for $2,150,000 where to give you the same comparison of a similar home in North Burlington, this was a detached home in the Millcroft neighborhood that ended up selling for $2.3 million. Now, if you're interested in more examples, feel free to send me a message with any one of these price ranges here. But let's dive in to our next price range, which is anything from 1.75 million all the way up to 2 million. And primarily in this area here, you're going to find these similar neighborhoods, just slightly smaller lots or slightly less finishings. However, still quite nice homes in this area. As this here is a detached home that was in the Tyandaga neighborhood that ended up selling for $1,927,000. And then in Burlington's newest neighborhood, is this one here, which is in Alton Village and ended up selling for $1,750,000. So while you are getting a newer home in Alton Village, the lot size will be a bit smaller compared to that of Tyandaga or also anywhere else in South Burlington. 
Now, the next price range we're gonna take a look at is anything between 1.5 million to 1.75. And in this price range, you're going to find a wide variety of different detached homes in every single one of Burlington's neighborhoods. As in those prestigious communities, you'll find some older detached homes or slightly smaller lots. Whereas in those central corridors, you'll also find some beautiful detached homes with upgraded finishings. Now also within this price range here is where you're going to find some of those luxurious townhomes that are found in downtown Burlington or that back onto a golf course in either Millcroft, Tyanaga, or Aldershot. Now a few examples for us to look at is this first one here, which is a detached home in the Hedden Forest neighborhood that ended up selling for $1,650,000. Then this next one, which is a slightly smaller home in South Burlington, but on a bigger lot, is this side split in the Short Acres neighborhood that ended up selling for $1,600,000. Now the next price range let's take a look at is anything selling between 1.25 million to 1.5 million. And again, in this price range here, you're gonna find detached homes in every single one of Burlington's neighborhoods. To give you a few examples, this one here is a two-story detached home in Orchard's neighborhood that ended up selling for $1,315,000 or you have this bungalow right in the LaSalle neighborhood close by the water that ended up selling for 1.3. And in this price range, while you can find a detached home in every single one of the neighborhoods, it's now going to come down to what your priorities are and what you value in your next home. As you're gonna find some larger detached homes sitting on slightly smaller lots, do you want those turnkey style with upgraded finishings or something that's a bit bigger but needs a bit more love, this is the give and take you're gonna find in this price range here if you're looking for a detached home. But rest assured, you can still find some great ones within this price range. Now, if you're interested in a detailed market analysis to better understand what exactly you can buy, what's recently sold at the time of you watching this, you can request a free custom market analysis down below where I'll create a video similar to this going over examples that are based on your search criteria to really give you a firm grasp. So go request down below. Otherwise, let's jump on in to our next price category, which is anything from 1.25 million to 1 million. Now, if you're looking for detached homes in this price range here, you're gonna find a lot of options really in the central corridor of Burlington. Now, a few examples for you to check out is first this detached home in the Longmore neighborhood, which ended up selling for just under $1.2 million. Then this next example is this detached home in the Brant Hills neighborhood that just sold over the million dollar price point and ended up selling for $1,087,000. Then if you're looking for a townhome in the Millcroft neighborhood, this one here sold for $1,140,000. And then if you're looking for one of those luxurious condos in downtown Burlington, this was a two bed condo and ended up selling for $1,050,000. Now, if you're looking for homes in townhomes under the million dollar price point, this next category is for you. And that's any homes between $1 million and $750,000. And while you can find some detached homes in this price range here, what you're more likely to find are those freehold townhomes and some condo townhome options for you to choose from. And these will be located throughout the entirety of Burlington. Here's an example of a semi-detached home in the Orchard neighborhood that ended up selling for $915,000. Then also is a smaller detached home in the Palmer neighborhood that ended up selling for $905,000 and definitely needed a little bit of love on the inside. And then this example here is a condo townhome in Alton Village's neighborhood that ended up selling for $820,000. And then lastly, this here is a two bed condo in the Tansley neighborhood that is quite spacious that ended up selling for $770,000. Then our next price category, let's take a look at, is anything between 750,000 to 500,000. And here in this price range here, you're gonna find a wide variety of different condo townhomes and condo apartments to choose from throughout Burlington's city. A couple of examples for you is this brand new condo townhome located in Aldershot, right beside Aldershot Co. that ended up selling for $750,000. Then in the Maple neighborhood in downtown,
downtown, you can find this condo townhome that ended up selling for $658,000. Then if you're looking for a condo apartment that's easy to commute to Toronto still, this one here is on Fairview in the Plains neighborhood right beside Burlington Go. And it is a two bed condo that ended up selling for $587,000. And then lastly, this here is a one bed condo in the Aldershot neighborhood that ended up selling for $560,000. So like I mentioned, if you're interested in a detailed market analysis based on your search criteria and when you're watching this, go down below and request your free market analysis. Otherwise, if you're interested in learning more about the different Burlington neighborhoods and which ones are right for you and your family, the next video I'd recommend you go check out is my video covering all the different Burlington neighborhoods and exactly what you need to know. So you can find that video right over here. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on in the next video.